Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're doing a little bit of decluttering. As you may or may not know, I've been rearranging and revamping my workspace here and part of that process is just out with the old and in with the new. While I don't do a lot of nails, manicure, nail art type of content on my channel, I do always have my nails painted. I often include nail polish in my favorites. You'll see my nails appearing in my Instagram photos. Even though that's not really a part of my YouTube content, it is one of my interests. It's kind of on the fringe of my content. Over the past year, I have collected way too many new nail polishes. I've outgrown the nail polish portion of my storage. That's a major sign. It's time to declutter. I thought it would be fun if you came along on my decluttering journey with me. So I'm gonna go through my entire nail polish stash. I'm gonna show you every single shade that I have in my collection and tell you what I'm keeping, what I'm passing along and why. So let's get into it now. All right, here we're starting off with some white, nude, a little bit of mauve champagne shades. I'm not gonna be able to perfectly divide all of them, but we're just gonna go through a few at a time, and my goal is to cut down my collection by about half. This one's pretty easy. I've never even opened this, so I can easily just get rid of this. I've never used this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move it along. We have three shades here that are kind of a creamy off-white. I think I only need one shade like this. The Sally Hansen Miracle Gel is one of my favorite formulas, and this would definitely be used as like a base color. This lasts forever, so I'm keeping this one. These two are gonna get passed along as well. This is a really cool pearly, pale yellow meets off-white kind of shade. I like this as a top coat, like a transformative coat. So I will be keeping this one. This is in collaboration with Candy Johnson. So that one is a keep. Believe it or not, these two OPI polishes actually are different shades. At least they have different shade names. This one is Samoan Sand. It's one of my all-time favorite nude polishes. And this one that looks exactly like it is called Feelin' Frisco. They both need to be shaken up, that's for sure. I'm gonna keep Samoan Sand. It's just a go-to for me, and I will pass along this other shade because obviously I do not need them both. This Bettina Hybrid Gel Polish I have never used. It's in the shade Victory. I don't even know what it looks like, but since I've never opened it, I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it. It's probably just like a nice khaki nude, and I have a couple of nude shades, so this one will be passed along. First of all, I love my Butter London polishes. This is in the shade Ta Ta. It's such a beautiful pale gray. I'm actually wearing this one today with another polish on top, and I love this. I would never declutter this. Definitely a keep. Here we have two shades that are just like pale nudie pinks. They're pretty similar. The OPI shade is a little bit richer. It has a little bit more of a mauve tone to it. And this Morgan Taylor polish, this one's just a little bit paler, a little bit more milky. I prefer the OPI formula and I prefer just a little bit more richness in color. So I'm gonna keep my very first Knockwurst and declutter the Morgan Taylor polish. These remaining polishes, I'm actually gonna keep all of these. First of all, you're probably gonna notice a trend here. Butter London makes some of my all-time favorite nail polishes. I love their formula. It's gonna be difficult for me to declutter many of my Butter London polishes. And ColourPop, I don't even think they sell their nail polish anymore. So this is almost like a collector's item to me. You know I love ColourPop if you've seen literally any other video I've ever made. So while this isn't gonna be like a go-to polish for me, I just gotta keep it in my collection. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping these. Here we have some silver, gray, some hollow polishes. I don't know if you can tell by what I'm wearing on my nails now, but I really like this kind of color, especially lately in the winter time. I love a shimmery, sort of cool toned neutral nail, but I do not need all of these colors. So let's see if we can cut down just a little bit here. Let's start with these three from Butter London. There are subtle differences here, but these are all gonna end up looking pretty similar on the nail. I guess I'm just gonna go middle of the road and keep this one called Bling. This one's a little bit lighter, this one's a little bit darker, but at the end of the day, 
I don't really need all three. All right, let's take a look at these three. This one in the middle, the LA Colors one, I have never even used, but I did open it up. It looks pretty similar to this SE one. It's just a little bit lighter. And this Sinful Color shade, I have plenty of other nail polishes that are gonna give me that look. So I am going to keep crushing this declutter and I'm gonna get rid of Festival Fairy from Sinful Colors and this metal nail polish from LA Colors. So these two are going gonna keep the Essie. Have some silver sparkly polishes here. I much prefer the Butter London polish over the Sinful Colors. So I'm gonna declutter this one and keep Enchanted. These are two holographic polishes. I haven't worn this one, so I really wanna try it out. This is one of my favorite nail polishes ever. So I'm gonna be keeping both of these, but I'm still doing pretty well decluttering, so I don't feel bad about keeping two that probably are gonna look the same on. These are two metallic taupey shades, and they do end up looking pretty similar, but I prefer the OPI polish when I compare these two. Press Star for Silver just gives me more coverage per swipe, so I'm gonna keep this one and declutter the Butter London one. Man, I'm getting rid of a lot more Butter London polishes than I thought I would. I'm really proud of myself. Speaking of that, this Butter London and Pantone polish, this is the shade Misty Lilac. This is probably one of my least favorites from last year's Pantone collaboration. It just wasn't a lot of coverage. It looked a little milky and uneven. So I'm gonna declutter this one and the rest of these shades I am gonna keep. I know I probably don't need all four, but hey, you know, it's progress, not perfection. Now we have some light pinks, a lot of sparkly, pale pink, and kind of peachy pink shades. I'm not actually that big on pink nail polish, so hopefully this will be easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out a few that I have never touched and probably never will. These three shades I have never used. You can tell this poor Essence Gel Polish is just in shambles. This is the shade Be Awesome Tonight. It will be awesome on somebody else's nails because I'm decluttering it. And these two probably look pretty similar. I, like I said, I've never used either one. I'm just gonna let these go first thing because I've never used them, so they could serve someone else better. Here are three pale, sparkly pinks. This Sinful Colors polish called Glass Pink has been one of my favorites for so long. I know I'm gonna keep this one, there's just no question. I don't know what it is, it's such a simple color, but I love putting this on top of every color imaginable, so I'm definitely hanging on to this one. These two from Butter London are pretty similar. This shade is called Unicorn. It has a little bit of a like lavender iridescence to it. This one is Dazzled. It's just like a sheer peachy sparkly pink. So I think I can live without this one. I'm gonna keep Unicorn because unicorns, and I will let this one go even though I do remember liking this one, but I think I can live without it. I also want to mention that this shade Dazzled is just like a more sheer version of this one called Blaze. And I've used Blaze a lot. I really like this one. So just more reinforcement. I'm going to declutter Dazzled and I'll keep Blaze in its place. Here we have some milky pale pinks. The Sally Hansen, as I've mentioned, is one of my more preferred formulas. I just prefer this one a little bit more, so I'm gonna declutter the sinful colors and keep throwing shade. Here's an easy one. This is the exact same shade in two different formulas from OPI. This is their regular nail lacquer and this is the Infinite Shine. Love this color. I prefer the Infinite Shine, so I'm gonna keep this one and declutter the regular nail lacquer. That was an easy one. I wish they were all that easy. You know what time it is. It's the time where I just say, screw it, I'm keeping all of these. I know some of them are pretty similar. It's my collection, so I gotta do what I gotta do. All right, now we're looking at some yellows, some sparkly golds, couple little like caramel type color sneaked in there. I haven't been doing that great. I've been wanting to get rid of half. I am not really meeting that goal. So now I'm gonna try to be as merciless as possible. There are a couple shades in here that I have never ever touched and I know that I'm not interested in using. This bright neon yellow, not really my kind of color. I think it's cool. It's just not my kind of shade. So we'll get rid of that one. These two pale yellow polishes, again, just not my style. This Kendra Scott bottle is so, so pretty, 
but I've never used it. I'm never gonna use it. Pretty much exact same shade from Morgan Taylor. I'm just, I'm just not gonna use these, so I'm gonna get rid of them. I have worn this 100% pure polish, but I just have so many other of these like bronzy, sparkly shades that I would rather wear than this one. So this one's gonna be decluttered. And again, this entire metal collection got sent to me by LA Colors and I never used any of them. I'm sure it's pretty, but I've never opened it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pass it along to a friend or donate. These are two super chunky glitter type of shades. Just not my favorite, particularly this one. This is like freaking sequin size glitters. I'm just, I'm never gonna wear this. And I have tried this one. It's just not opaque enough of a sparkle for me. So both of these are also getting donated. Yes, I'm finally crushing it on this one. These three shades are pretty similar. It's just like a shiny, goldy, sparkly little shimmer nail. I love something like that, but I do not need all three. The Essie one is called Penny Talk. It's one of my go-tos. Love it. This Koki polish is Pop the Champagne. It's just a slightly warmer version of the Penny Talk, but I like both these. I'm going to keep them. This Morgan Taylor polish is a transforming top coat. It's called Enchanted Patina. It's a cool idea. It's just not something that I've reached for. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. These remaining shades are ones that I really, really like. I've really been hooked on this Essie shade. So these five are staying with me. Here are some peach, orange, and getting into the mid-tone pinky kind of colors. This is ridiculous. So many of these look exactly alike. I really need to get rid of the majority of these because this is just, seeing them all together is really, really ridiculous. I do not need this many repeats, especially considering that most of these shades are not even really my favorites to wear. So let's do some serious decluttering here. First off, this Habit Polish. This is really turned a funky sort of color. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this one's just really gone bad. So I think this one just needs to right away just go. All five of these colors legitimately look like the exact same thing. I do not need all of these. This is shameful is what this is. I'm gonna get rid of three of the five of these. These two, the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel is called Malibu Peach. The OPI one is Time for a Napa. These can just go. And the same for this, this Sinful Colors one. This just looks exactly like all the other ones. So this one's gonna go as well. I'll keep these two. I know they look pretty similar, but I like both of these formulas. I probably should just keep one of them, but for now I'm gonna hang on to both. And I always like this collection, so I'm gonna keep these two. Here's another instance where these OPI polishes look exactly the same, but they have different shade names. And there are other polishes here that are in this same kind of corally orange color that I like better. So let's just go ahead and pass on both of these. These are brand new to my collection. They're the other two polishes from the Pantone and Butter London 2019 Color of the Year collection. I have worn this one. I haven't worn the glitter yet, but I'm gonna keep both of these. It's the color of the year, so you kinda have to, right? I mean, you don't have to, but I'm going to anyway. Here's a neon orange. I'm not into neon nails. I think they look cool on other people, but it's not my style. So again, sorry, Pop Beauty, but you're getting donated as well. Here are some orangey shades. This also looks like the other two OPI colors that look exactly the same as well. So I'll keep this one in their place. I'm gonna keep the China Glaze. I really like this as a topper over more solid like cream colors. And this one, just kind of looks like all the rest so I'll get rid of this one and keep the china glaze. This Essie polish is a bright neon pink. It's called Off the Wall. As I've said before I'm not into neons so I'm gonna pass this one. Here are three more medium rosy pinks. I really only need one of these. So I'm gonna keep this Essie polish. This one is Mod Square. I'll keep this one and I'll pass these two on. Both pretty shades, both nice formulas. I just don't need this many of this kind of pink. And the last two, I'm gonna keep both of these. It's hard to tell on camera, but it has like an iridescent shift to it. It's really, really pretty. So these two are gonna stay, but I feel like I did pretty well with this 
color family. Okay, now we're looking at some darker pinks, berries, and reds. Again, I think a lot of these, particularly the pinks, look really, really similar. So let's just try to be merciless and get rid of a bunch of these. All three of these shades look exactly alike. I only need one of these. I'm just gonna keep this one. This is I'm India Mood for Love and declutter these two. These are, these are the same shade. I do not need these. I feel the exact same way about these three polishes. These are the same freaking color. I do not need all of these. I'm just gonna keep the OPI. This is my favorite formula out of the three and these all look alike. So keeping one, decluttering two. Here we have three shimmery pinks. If I'm gonna wear a shiny pink this shade, I'm gonna go for the Orly. So again, I'm gonna keep Last Call and I'm gonna declutter these other two. When I look at these three, I know this one doesn't look like these two, but I just, I feel like I have so many colors that look like this one that I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this OPI polish. These two, again, they just look exactly alike. Now I love this kind of color so much. This Butter London polish called Broody is one of my all time favorite nail polishes. So I like this color. I really like this OPI color, but I already have Broody and I know if I'm gonna go for a berry nail, I'm gonna go for this one because I love it and I wear it all the time. End of story. Here are two bright reds. The Orly one does have a bit of shimmer to it. The OPI polish is just a plain bright red creamy shade. I'm not really big on red nails, but if I had to pick between these two, I would pick the Orly polish. So I'm gonna keep this one and declutter the OPI polish. Okay, lastly, I know that these two and these two look pretty similar. The Habit polish is more vampy red than the Essie polish and the Live Love polish. Glittery red shade is a lot, lot more shimmery. I still got rid of half from this color group, so I'm happy with that. Here are some of the neutral, mauve reddish, purpley, just some stragglers that didn't quite make it into the previous little color groups. And here we are again seeing a bunch of shades that look really similar in my opinion. Here's, here's where you start to lose me on the declutter. I know that these three polishes look similar, but I really like all three of them. This one's a little bit more of like a darker mauve shade. This one's a little bit more of a pale mauve shade. They all look similar. I know this, I know, you don't have to tell me, but I love them and I'm keeping them. Okay, I'm gonna do better on this part. I promise I'm only gonna keep one of these. This OPI polish is called Chocolate Mousse. It's like my all time favorite brown shade. So I'm gonna keep this one. I know these aren't as similar as the last group that I held up, but oh well, I'm still getting rid of two of them. These two polishes are almost the exact same color. I love my Bettina polishes, but I like the Orly just a little teeny tiny bit more. Both beautiful, but I'm gonna declutter my Bettina polish and keep this Orly one. I love this polish so much. Okay, don't judge me. I'm gonna keep all of these. <laughs> I know I only got rid of three from this group, but I'm gonna try to do better on the next round. That's all I can say. Here are most of my purple polishes. I'm surprised that I don't have as many as I thought I would because I actually really have been into purple nail polish lately, but we're gonna try to do some decluttering damage here. Let's start with this really pale lavender shade. In theory, I like this, but it's just really milky and takes a long time to build up on the nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this Butter London polish. These two look exactly the same. I definitely don't need both of these. I like both of these formulas. I'm just gonna keep the Butter London one. It's smaller and I'm just very loyal to my Butter London polishes. So I'm gonna declutter the Koki and keep Ultraviolet. Here are some shimmery pale purples, kind of keeping with the strategy that I've been using. I've never used this LA Colors one. I'm sure that it's pretty, but it's the same shade as these two. So we're gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna keep these two. The Butter London one is a little bit more blue, but I don't really need to justify it. I like both of them, so I'm keeping them. This Koki polish is called Knockout. I don't have anything else like this. It's just a really deep royal purple. Super beautiful, definitely keeping this one. I really, really like this shade. I kind of want to go paint this on my nails now. Here are 
three shimmery purples. These all look pretty similar. I feel like I already kept some colors that look like this from previous color families, like the berries. So we'll go ahead and pass this one on. And these two look pretty much the same. The Sinful Color shade has more of a blue sparkle where the Orly Polish has more of a gold sparkle. But these are pretty similar, so I'm just more of a fan of the Orly Polish, so I'm gonna keep this one and pass these Sinful Colors on. Here are some more sparkly shades. These aren't really that similar, but if I was gonna go for a color like this, I feel like, if anything, I would use this cream polish and then put a shimmer over it. So I think I'm gonna hang on to these two. This Bettina polish in the shade Cosmos is another one of my all-time favorites. I love this one so much, I will never let this go. And I'm also gonna keep this Butter London one called Bodacious. I think I would get a similar look from these, so I'm gonna pass these on so these three are staying. This group is minty green, pale blue, got a little periwinkle action happening over here. I know I keep saying this, but so many of these colors look just alike. <sighs> I really like this kind of color too, obviously, since I have purchased so many of them, but it's time to pare this down, so let's get rid of some of these. We've got some light, icy, shimmery shades. I prefer the Essie one, so I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of pots of tea. This whole row just looks so similar. I really need to pare this down, so let's get rid of some of these. All four of these colors really just end up looking the same on the nails. I prefer the formula of the Essie or the Infinite Shine. I do really like the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel formula, but this polish is super old and just starting to kind of turn colors and break up and I could probably save it if I tried, but I do have these other shades that look just the same. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep the Infinite Shine. This Essie Polish in Mint Candy Apple is another one that I really, really like, but I just don't need both of these. Both of these Sinful Colors polishes look super similar. This one does have like a matte finish to it, which I think is a little bit more interesting twist on just a pale blue polish. So I'm gonna keep the Candy Johnson one and pass on the Vanessa Hudgens one. Another Candy Sinful Colors collab versus Vanessa Sinful Colors collab. These shades look pretty much the same to me. In this case, I'm gonna keep the Vanessa color. It's a little bit darker and just a little bit different to the other pale minty greens that I have previously kept. Here are some shimmery polishes. The Sinful Colors one has got some gigantic chunks of glitter. That's not really my favorite way to nail polish. I love Candy Johnson. I searched everywhere to find her polish collabs, so I can't believe I'm decluttering so many of them, but it's just time to give them to somebody who will use them and enjoy them more than me. This Sally Hansen polish is called Let's Get Digital. I love this polish. I would never declutter this. I love this one. So I'm keeping this one and decluttering the glitter. The four that remain down here are all pretty similar. I know that these two look just alike, but these are the two that I wanna keep. I love both of these. Bikini Sotini actually has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm gonna declutter these two and this Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel. I did not like the formula of this at all. So these are both going. Now we're looking at green polishes. I don't have that many, but I feel like some of these can still go. First of all, I have been shaking this one and shaking it before I tried to put it out and I just cannot get this to reincorporate. In reality, these two shades are quite similar and since I can't really sort out this Ren polish, I'm just going to declutter this one and keep the Essie polish. I'm also gonna get rid of these two, this Butter London polish. It's just a little bit more bright green than I like to wear. So these are also getting decluttered. These two are pretty similar. They look more different on the nail than they do in the bottle. I love this one. So if I had to choose between the two, I would choose Bang On. I still really like this one. This is one of my preferred formulas, but these are pretty similar. So I think I'm gonna pass the Infinite Shine and hang on to the Butter London. 
These remaining polishes are pretty unique in my collection. I am going to hang on to the rest of these. This is the last of it. I do want to mention that I found these two Koki polishes still in the box. I'm pretty sure that I had these the last time I decluttered my nail polish. So I'm just not even going to open these. I'm just going to put them straight into the donate bin. Here we're looking at mostly blue, some black and gray, kind of darker sparkly shades as well. I don't want to declutter any of these, but some of these look really similar. These three shades are all pretty darn close. I'm gonna get rid of this essence gel polish and I know that these are pretty close. Really like both of these so I'm keeping them. This is so weird. I'm just now realizing this. This is another Sinful Colors collab side by side. This is a Candy Johnson shade. A lot of their shades ended up being really really similar. It doesn't really matter to me which one I keep so I'm gonna keep the candy shade because I love Candy Johnson. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this Orly polish because I kept the gray Butter London polish. Um, I think it's called Ta Ta. I kept that one, so I'm gonna declutter this one. I really only need one gray polish, so I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. I have one silver and one black, so I'm gonna keep both of these. Here we have two like shimmery, medium, bluish, purplish type of colors. I know these don't look exactly the same, but I am going to keep the Ren polish. This looks really pretty, but I just I just need to get rid of some. So I'm going to keep this one and declutter this one. Here we have two bright blues. Again, not exactly the same, but they end up looking pretty close on the nail. I really, really like this Orly polish. This Ren polish, also super pretty. In the bottle, it doesn't even do it justice. This is really pretty on the nails but I just don't need both of these shades, so I'm gonna declutter A Pirate's Life and keep Skinny Dip. The last one that I'm gonna get rid of out of this bunch is this Live Love Polish shade called Last Call. This just has some bigger chunks of glitter and I'm not really into it, so I'm gonna declutter this one. These remaining four shades are gonna stay. I'm pretty sure that these two on the ends are practically the same color, but I don't care, okay? Just let me live. Wow, 179 nail polishes. That is insane. For somebody who doesn't even do nail art content, that is way too crazy. I went into this declutter with the goal of getting rid of half. I didn't quite make it to 50%. I ended up keeping 101 nail polishes, but, but, I decluttered 78, so 44% of my collection is moving out of those Ikea drawers today. A question I get a lot on my declutter videos is what happens to the things that I move out of my collection. For the most part, when it comes to things like nail polish, in general, the majority of these will just get passed on to my family and friends. I have sisters, nieces, all the moms in the neighborhood are gonna just be manicured to perfection for the next year. I do also have the ability to donate a lot of my decluttered items to a women's outreach program. Most shelters and things like that don't really want to collect luxury items like makeup and skincare, things like that because they simply just don't have the shelf space to store it. I'm fortunate enough that I know somebody who works with a women's outreach program, so she's able to pass my goods along to those women. It is a wonderful cause, but it is frequently difficult to find places like that to donate your cosmetics. If you're considering decluttering and you're moving any beauty items or other luxury type items out of your life, and you wanna donate them, I'm gonna link some resources down in the description box. I hope you will check those out and consider sending your items to them. Since I went through so many different nail polish shades in this video, I'm not gonna link every single thing in the description, but I will link a bunch of my favorites for you. So if you're looking for some new nail polishes to add to your collection, I say as I'm moving some out of mine, I'm gonna let you know what my favorites are. Also, keep an eye on my monthly favorites videos because I frequently include my favorite nail colors in those as well. I know it's spring cleaning's a thing, but it's like the new year is what gets me wanting to clear things out and change things up. Spring doesn't do it for me, it's the new year. Now, I wanna know, are you a 
new year cleaner, a spring cleaner? Are you a constant minimalist and you don't need to declutter at all? Also leave some of your favorite nail polishes in the description so that I can check them out because now I have space in my drawer and I'm ready to purchase some new ones. Uh, sad but true. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I, I just, I, I'm gonna declutter the club, blah, 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 blah. There's polish, polish, polish? Super tropical, super tropical, fijistic. Why do you do this to me, OPI? So with all that being said, please don't email me and ask me for my stuff because no. Uh, I wish that I was joking, but it's gonna happen. I cannot send it to you. I'm sorry. That's not the way it works. She's feeling saucy today. It's the dangly earrings that get me in that saucy head bob move kind of mood. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> mm -hmm.